What is going on guys? This is going to be your one-stop shop place to go for everything Dragonite related. So unfortunately right now we don't know what their passives do because for whatever reason they don't know how to program this. So none of the descriptions are here for any moves right now. But I can kind of go through it and tell you guys what it is. I played with them a little bit. So for Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, they all have like a similar ability to like every third attack is going to give you like a little mini stun. And then the next third attack after that, I think it was a slow. So I think it goes one, two, three stun, one, two, three slow. It could be one, two, three stun, one, two, three stun. I'm not 100% sure. And then right here, this is going to be Twister, which just does damage. This move right here, I'm not sure the name of it. But basically, it's a little dashing move. You dash, and then every auto attack you do lowers the cooldown by one second, and then you dash again. And it gives you like a little tiny speed boost. Honestly, this move kind of sucks in my opinion. I haven't really been able to... Maybe when it, you read the description, it'll sound a little bit better. But as of right now, I recommend going extreme speed. Extreme speed, what it does is it dashes into the enemy and knocks them up for a short time, gives them a little stun. So that's a good move. And then this is going to be Dragon Breath right here, does a little AoE damage. And then right here we have Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam, eh, I don't think it's that good to be honest. It has a really long charge up time for mediocre damage. And this right here is the reason why you're going to be playing Dragonite. I believe the name of this move is going to be called Outrage. So what you do is you use it, you slam on the ground, and then you go beast mode, you turn into the Hulk for a second and you start punching and then every attack you do does a little bit of AoE damage. I believe it's AoE damage. Like I said, you can't really see it, but it, it does slight damage to everyone that he cleaves. So this is going to be the move you want. The downside to this move is it gives you a small stun once the move is all done. Now for the held items, I recommend these three again. This is going to be your go-to melee all-rounder damage build. Well, he is considered a range type, when you use Outrage, he becomes a melee type, and that's going to be a majority of the time you're fighting. So Razor Claw will be good on him because he turns into a melee type. So Razor Claw's slow will proc, and when he does Outrage, he gets a little speed boost. So you'll be able to stick to enemies better with uh, the Razor Claw, and then you just go the old muscle band scope lens as usual. If you want to try the ranged build, I guess you would want to swap out the Razor Claw for something else. I was trying out the Focus Band, but maybe the Energy Amplifier would be good as well because with his ult... Oh, I forgot to mention his ult. His ult took me a long time to realize, but his ult is insane. What his ult is, is Draco Impact. So what it does is you use his ult, and depending on how far you fly on the map, you're gonna fly in, you're gonna slam down on the enemies, and depending on how far you fly, that's gonna be how much your Unite move um, uses. So say it's at 100% charge, and you fly like right next to you, it's gonna use like 10%, 20% charge, you won't use that much. So you get your ult back really, really fast. But say you just died, you're running back into the fight, they're all fighting Articuno, you can jump in halfway, and then ult the rest of the way. It'll use about 50% charge that way. So, this move is insane on like letting you farm for a bit. You can go kill that last little Stantler to get that little buff, and then fly in and then just start going to town on him. I really like this move once I realized how it works. But yeah, that's basically the guide for Dragonite. If you guys want to stick around, I will show you a little 10 minute gameplay session that I had with him. I was still learning him a little bit at the time, but it was a really good game. And if you guys want to stick around and watch that, feel free to, if not, that's fine, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right guys, let's go. We got the brand new Dragonite. We'll try him out. We're gonna go with a melee build with Outrage Extreme Speed. I think that's gonna be the best build for him. Let's see how it does. I recommend going to the bottom lane if your team lets you because you get a little bit more EXP. If not that, then go for the jungle. But it doesn't look like I get to do either of these apparently. I'm way behind already, unfortunately. <laughs> I just wanted to get one of those two lanes. Alright. This is just going to be a free-for-all farm fest. Because he went top and then went to the jungle. Alright, we're level 4. We're pretty good now. Let's see if we can get this kill. No? Alright. So, with 
Dragonite, you're going to want to try to level him up pretty quickly because he's not too strong early on, which is why I wanted to go to the bot lane or to get the jungle. But unfortunately, my team doesn't really care about that. <laughs> Ow, that was a good little crit. Oh, big damage. Try to score real quick. No, I'm not shot. Bounce out of there. Ah, oh, come on. That was unfortunate. A little greedy there trying to go for the score. I shouldn't have went for that. Alright, let's take this jungle. We want to try to level up Ace. Come on, come back over here. We want to try to level up as fast as we can with Dratini. Because he's not the strongest early on. But if you can get some levels on him, then he will be a big carry later on. But unfortunately this guy keeps trying to take all my farm. Alright. Go this way. Try not to steal my farm, please. Just need to become a Dragonite and then I'll be strong. Once I get Outrage, I'll be good to fight. Until then, I'm pretty weak, to be honest. Okay. Just make sure the name of the game is Farm Up as fast as you can. So, we'll go to the top and actually we'll go to the bottom. Let's see if we can help bottom out a little bit. Might be able to get a kill here. Oh, no, not with Absol down here. Oh, maybe we'll be able to take out the Absol. Oh, nice! Good damage. Extreme speed. And then you get a nice little stun in there, too. Oh, is that going to take it out? That's going to take it out. So that's why I like the extreme speed build over the other dashing one. The, dash the other dashing one doesn't do any damage. It's just a weird move right now. I don't even know what it does because the descriptions are messed up on it. So I recommend extreme speed always. It gives a little stun, and then when you get that little dragon breath right there, it does another little stun. So we're gonna go outrage. Look at the big damage you get from outrage. Extreme speed, and then you would slam the ground and smack them up like crazy. And then you get a little stun once that runs out, unfortunately, but it's not even that long. So look at the big damage you get now. So now I am ready to rumble. We'll go help out top. We should be able to dash in and ult right away. And then we'll slam him down. Oh, big damage. I think I just instantly killed him. Let's run in and punch this war turtle. Slam the ground. Outrage again. Big damage. What the heck is going on? <laughs> so much better than Hyper Beam. I'm sorry, but man. Can we finish it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dash away to that. I need to heal up. Alright, we got out. We got away. We're gonna steal both of these. And then, it's insane, but his Unite move comes back really fast, too. So I think if we slam here, we can kill all of these in like two seconds. Look at that farming. Oh, thanks for the little push. We'll ult again. The ult takes a while to slam down, but when it does, it's big damage. Oh. No, I didn't get the dunk off. Unfortunately, my team didn't let me. I'm not even going to be able to get this dunk off now. Okay, let's just get out of here. Okay, never mind. I guess I can fight this. Okay. If I fought that a little sooner, we might have been able to kill him. My ult's back already. I wish I could read what his passive does. His passive just brings his ult back fast. Let's see if we can help out bot lane since Dreadnought's about to respawn. So, let's see how fast we can kill this Dreadnought. Uh, Blastoise. Sorry, sir, but I'm gonna outrage on you. And then let's take this thing down too. If you you, I'm pretty sure it's outrage. If you use outrage again before you hit, get hit by the confusion, it will reset, so you will never get confusion stunned. It's a good little trick. 
Oh, he was about to ult, but we, we stopped him. Let's ult this. Everyone has to run the second that that ult comes out. But my ult's up to 75%, so I guess if it doesn't hit anyone, then it comes back faster. I think that's the trick. Ah, uh, there's too many of them. Oh, big damage! Oh, he got Outrage, too. Okay, we gotta bounce out of here. We gotta bounce out of here. There's three of them. Fly away, Dragonite. Cinderace is pretty tough. Ow. <laughs> Dang, he just barely touched me with that ult, and then the speed boost from the ult meant I couldn't get away anymore. But I think we're still ahead right now. We're still in a good spot. But I think that's what it is. I think if you miss your ult, because everyone can just run out of that ult really easily, then that's why I'm getting my ult back so fast. That's pretty good. You can just throw it out there. But Outrage does definitely the most damage. Also stuns, too. That's insane. It keeps your little stun passive. I think it hits two times, even. But yeah, I recommend going for... I'm pretty sure this is Outrage, but like I said, it doesn't actually say. Oh, zero damage ult. Nice. I'm a big tanky dragon. Outrage! Flying. Oh, I think it actually told me that it used a certain percentage to go farther. I think that's what it was, actually. So if you're gonna ult somebody close by, I think... Oh, I think that's what it is. I'm gonna have to check that out. I'm gonna have to take Rotom out. Oh my god. Oh, I'm a big dragon! Okay, this hurts. I can't, I can't, I can't just walk like that. <laughs> Actually, I can go score this. Oh, but they're gonna take... Oh, I can just ult from all the way over here and BAM! Slam into them! That's really cool, actually. Oh my god, I didn't realize that. So his ult, the way it works, because you can't read it, so I didn't know what his ult did, but it uses up more power depending on how far you're going to ult. So the farther you want to fly, the more ult charge it uses. So that's actually insane. You can start just, like, ganking from anywhere. A teammate has left the game. Okay. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing, guys? Oh, let's just hit them all! Cleave them all! Okay, God, get me out of here! Get me out of here! Oh, man, that hurt. Freaking Blastoise. Oh, nice damage there. Alright, we got this one, guys. But yeah, this is gonna be the best build for Dragonite, in my opinion. The Outrage into the Extreme Speed is definitely better than Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam has a really large charge up time, and it doesn't even do that much more damage, to be honest. So, I recommend this build right here. And let's see how far we can ult with this. Look at that. 90%, we can fly all the way over here to use 90% of our thing. That is insane. That is some far range. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to play the melee version of him, because... Like, even your ult, your ult flies into the middle of the team, blasts them all, and then what are you going to do, run away? <laughs> like, I don't really get why you would go the Hyper Beam route. But, there you guys have it. That is the Dragonite Showcase and little guide recommendation on how you might want to play him. So, to review again, go Outrage, Extreme Speed, every time. Like, until we can read the description of the other move, I don't think it's even worth going that little other dashing move. But Outrage, I'm pretty sure it's Outrage. It could be Thrash. But that is definitely the way to go, guys. 
you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more Pokemon Unite content and Pokemon content in general, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.